grace is progressive grace differs and this is what you must understand in this generation we are the generation who do not understand the difference between grace and the reality of the differences in grace in the book of matthew chapter 5 from verse 21 he said ye have heard jesus was speaking to the people in those days According to the dispensation of religion that was available at that moment, he was trying to let them understand some certain realities. He said, Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, that is Matthew chapter 5, on verse 21. Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, Thou shalt not kill, whosoever shall kill shall be in danger of the judgment. But I say unto you that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. Now, he said that you have heard how it was being said. He now said, Now I say unto you, what can we see here? We are seeing that Jesus is trying to let us see that grace differs. That the fact that this is what they said at that time, now this is what I am saying now. Does it mean that God changed? No, God did not change. But the Pharisees of those days who stayed on the surface. And so Jesus brought them deeper. And Jesus went deeper to show them the reality of what they do not understand. According to their own dispensation, they have believed in those days that until they kill physically, that is when they have killed someone. But Jesus said, this thing starts from the heart. He showed them the reality because the Old Testament was full of shadows. The Old Testament was not showing forth the reality of the truth. It was just shadows. And when Jesus came, he showed them that you don't need to kill somebody physically before you have killed someone. He said, whosoever is angry with his brother, he said, but I say unto you now, in this dispensation, there is a grace that differs. Let me open your eyes to this thing that you don't understand before. What your father showed you was not the reality. This is the reality of that truth. Now Jesus was speaking with a grace that differs. That, but I say unto you, whosoever shall be angry with his brother without a cause, he said that he shall be in danger of judgment. What is this? We are seeing that grace is progressive. We see that grace differs. And you are in a generation where when you begin to speak, speak some deeper truth. People begin to ask you, has God changed? Is this not what is written in the Old Testament? Is this not what is written in so and so places? The same with the shadows. But when you are speaking with a different grace and you are letting them to understand that this is the actual truth. This grace is progressive. What you saw at that time was just a surface interpretation. You did not go deep. When you don't go deep, you will think that is all about God. And that is the same thing that is working in this generation. They told you they said, are you greater than our fathers who taught us this and that? And they were asking Jesus that why are you teaching us something different from what our fathers have taught us? He said, are you not greater than our fathers? They do not know that Jesus was speaking with a different grace. And that was why he went deeper than their fathers. And then they were thinking Jesus had a devil. They started accusing Jesus. You have a devil. You are this. You are teaching heresies. And they accuse him with all sorts of things. This is the same thing that is happening in this generation. We are in a generation where going deep means you are now hearing from the devil. We are in a generation where when you begin to speak mysteries, it is assumed that it is a strange thing because they correlate what to say with what their fathers have told them, what their fathers have taught them, and it is not going in agreement. And then they just conclude that, can you now be greater than our fathers who taught us this and this? In a generation like this, which is full of religion, the so-called fathers that we met are preaching religion job, teaching lies to people, living a fake life. But when you go deeper than all of them, and God has decided to give you a grace that is more higher, and then you see and hear what they did not hear, and you saw the reality of what Jesus has done, and you begin to speak mysteries, they begin to think, and they begin to say, this is a lie, this is heresy, our father has never taught us. What are we saying here? What we are saying is that you must understand that grace is progressive. You must understand that grace differs. You must understand that it is not just enough to stay on the surface. You have to go deeper and know God beyond what you see in this generation. If you stay with the surface Christianity, if you stay with the surface that we see in this generation, you will just remain in the cloud of darkness. You will not see the reality of the truth for yourself. You will stay in the ignorance and the bondage of religion. Just like you see all over today that many people have decided to remain in the bondage of religion because if you say anything that is more than what their fathers have told them, then it means that you are telling a lie. And that was the same problem of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Because
because Jesus taught them something different, something greater, and then he brought out from their own law and opened their eyes with the help of the Holy Spirit to see beyond the letters and they begin to curse Jesus and they begin to call him names. This is the same thing that so many people say with the epistles, they say with what Jesus said before he died alone, not balancing it with what he did on the cross, not balancing it with what he did after he resurrected. And so they go into heresy and when you begin to speak with grace, with revelation, they say you are teaching heresy. Is this not the same thing that they accuse Jesus of when he taught something different from what their fathers have taught them. The same way today that many people have stayed with the epistles. They have relegated their lifestyle to what the epistles said. Not knowing that what was written in those days was according to the grace that was available at that time. And because grace is progressive and grace differs, if you do not go beyond what is written in the epistles and you don't pattern yourself after that, you remain in the shadows and you remain in religion. Because God himself, his grace is progressive and his revelation is progressive, you have to be updated. We are in a generation where the so-called Christians are following the epistles that was written more than 100 years ago instead of updating themselves with what God had in mind according to the grace that is available in this generation. This is a problem of laziness, not being able to dig deeper and hear from God, not being able to assess the reality, go deep into the mystery, listen to the Holy Spirit and know what he wants for your generation. Live according to the present grace at the moment. Stop following the old and the shadows again. Let God give you a new mindset to help you to understand the scriptures that you read and balance it according to the grace that is available at the present moment. Today, many people are deceived by what their fathers have told them. Their fathers who never knew God, who do not work with God, their fathers who never left the level of religion, and then they compare their fathers with you that God has opened your eyes to see what they could not see, and God has opened your eyes to hear what they could not hear, and then they compare what to say with what the Apostle Paul said, even Apostle Paul said that he was taken to a realm and he saw what could not be uttered by the mouth and he heard what the mouth cannot just be spoken. He was not able to reveal those things that he heard at that time. Many things were not able to be revealed by this Apostle because they were so hard for him to be uttered. But now, in this present generation, God is revealing mysteries. God is showing our eyes to those things that even the Apostle could not reveal. Are we going to say with what he has said, or are we going to move on and hear from the Holy Spirit who knows all the truth? Even Jesus said, a greater than Solomon is here. And we can also say that a greater than Apostle Paul has emerged. Because grace is progressive and grace deepens, we are able to understand God deeper than what he has been revealed before. You must understand that you need to go deep in your fellowship with God. You need to go deep and be on your from what deeper things of God. Don't just stay on what you have had, on the book you have read by people who never went deep with God. In summary, God has not changed. His grace has not changed. His mercy has not changed. But it is the failure of humans to press deeper into God, to know God beyond the surface that is bringing a lot of deficiencies, errors, fallacies in today's generation. The one that is supposed to be learning is teaching. The one that is supposed to stay at the feet of Christ has decided to start a church or a ministry. Even when God is saying there is more, it is not yet time. We are in a generation where people are now thinking, has God not changed? God has not changed. Human beings fail to go deeper, to press deeper, to understand who God is, to know him beyond the surface and to understand his mind even for this generation. So remember, it is good to learn from the voice of grace and not listen to the voice of religion. If you listen to the voice of religion and the voice of those who do not stay to listen here from God, you will be led astray. It is good to listen to the voice of grace and always remember that grace differs and that it is different from what it was revealed about 50 years ago. Even though God remains the same, but there is a dimension that is always deeper that men have not pressed into. And for those who have been given grace to press into it, I beckon on you to listen to the voice of grace and identify the voice of religion and the voice of the one that sits on the surface. Remember, a greater than all the fathers is here and a greater than the apostles is here because grace divides.